Hello, this is Wayne. Um, a lot of people are asking me about some of my famous pictures, the ones I have actually altered in some capacity. Um, I thought maybe today would be a good day to show you where some of my inspiration came from. A lot of people have seen uh, my pancake one. Um, I love this one because this is actually from the movie uh, Life of Dan with Stephen Carell. It actually is from the movie poster and a lot of people ask me if I actually have, did put my head in uh, syrup and at that time of my life, and I think I'm going to reflect on this a lot because I haven't for years, um, it really depended on my mood. Um, there's days where I just wanted to put my head on a stack of pancakes. That made sense. Um, um, I've actually had a few famous ones before that. Um, most of them went viral if I actually imitated uh, the far side. Or I started playing with, um, just playing with images that were unheard of. Uh, this first one I actually did in 2006, so about six years ago. It's uh, Wish It, Dream It, Do It. And, uh... It took me a while to actually figure out how to do this. Obviously, it's uh, several different pictures uh, put into one. This is in my old, old, uh, old, old, old house. And uh, love the bathroom. And uh, <laughs> the Stephen King book on the, at the base there was actually kind of funny because it's the Dream Wishers. Um, it, my face actually pretty well said it all. My head is actually pushing my cheek towards my mouth. Uh, and I took that picture and the other two pictures were obviously exaggerated looking at it now I think mm, I probably should have done that way that shadow on the left is actually a fake one I thought it'd be fun to uh, see if I can re redo this um, the idea of actually getting these ones in is because the um, the inspiration was there but I didn't know how to do it I knew some things about Photoshop but I kind of wanted to keep on going with it so this next one was actually the very first one I've done for um, The Far Side. The Far Side actually is a comic, in case you don't know, and uh, Gary Larson was uh, extremely famous for his Far Side clips. And uh, The Far Side is actually mostly one framed cartoons and very well done. And I was a huge fan. And so what I thought about doing is actually doing a few uh, real life versions of the far side. I do like this one. It's funny uh, This is of my car. That is of course my eyeball and It was actually the car was actually parked in the driveway and That was uh, my next-door neighbor's car, and I just found out how to blur it to make it look like it's moving <clears throat> This one here is actually very funny because uh, it took me a while to figure out what my face was going to look like. And I remember sitting at my desk at one time making this crazy face that you see on the screen thinking this is what I'm going to do. Um, this is actually the cheese counter I believe at the A&P at the time. Um, that's me with the knife and the fake apron with blood on it and that's me also pointing. Uh, so I kind of photoshopped myself in there. As you can see it's kind of a preliminary and uh, Shadows weren't really perfect, but it's it was fun to do. This one here is the um, <laughs> if you look at the forehead, and this is what made it funny actually. It was actually entitled "Wayne has a slight deformity on his forehead." It swells up every time he has to think. Unfortunately, no one took him seriously then. I actually started doing this uh, as, as a third person at one time uh, because I just figured out I, I wanted to separate, separate myself from from the look and uh, very entertaining just to look at. It actually was my old house there. Next one is the... Um, you'll see this picture of me several times um, from what I've done. It's actually the uh, Getting Genius Obviously, as the mini me inside of my head, again, very self-reflective. Um, toned up my skin white, 
and I added a blast in the background. Again, I was just experimenting with it. Next one is the sheep. Um, this one here was interesting to do. The two lambs are actually separate, different picture. The background's a different picture. The sheep was a different picture, but real. It was that large. I guess it was due for a, due for a shaven. That was actually um, Leela's uh, coat. And she was, well, I guess six years ago. That makes her 12. I think it's I think it's a little younger than this. I think it's it's an 11 year old jacket. Uh, but I thought it would be fun to have a zipper on it, make make it look like I'm actually inside of this sheep. I really did this because of sheep clothing. Uh, no one really knows me. I hide in my own little world type of thing. Um, I thought it'd be interesting to to try that. Next, this one here is the Easter Island. Um, I had a huge fascination with Easter Island because of the actual definition of it. I actually saw Easter Island as the world of the whole civilization as a whole. And the idea of two tribes, two, two sects of people uh, on one island uh, separated because of a religion and, and a belief. Same thing, I guess. And they believed that they had to build these statues to scare away the evil spirits. So what they had to do, the only way to transport these huge chipped stones was to uh, cut down trees, palm trees, and create logs that usually roll, just like the Egyptians did, to move their blocks. So unfortunately, wood does wear down, and they, uh, they just kept on cutting down trees over and over again. So to the point where they actually cut down their only food source. And it just kept on going because religion took over. Extremely deep. And uh, so of course, me being inspired by that, I kept on going with that. <laughs> this is um, my bunny. This is actually my very first stuffed toy. I still have it. Um, it was uh, knitted. Um, by my aunt uh, pretty well given to me on my birth day and um, I love this thing this thing is, it's got me through some problems <laughs> it's got me through, through a lot of things when I was a kid it was actually my comfort he does wear a sock uh, around his belly and so he's not normally nude but since the American Beauty was an inspiration I thought this would be kind of funny this was actually seen by almost 10,000 people. I'm not sure why, but it was. Next is the inspiration of Garden State. I thought this was funny because the Garden State was a very interesting scene where he walked into the scene wearing <laughs> essentially the wallpaper uh, material and he had it for his clothes. So again, inspiration. Ha, ah, I look super young in this for uh, only six years, uh, six years ago. This was done in my old house. <clears throat> this was actually a, an idea that I had that just was something where, um, I don't know, I've heard the, to the quote, uh, if quizzes were quizzical, what are tests? I think um, this one here meant a lot to me for several different reasons. One. Um, it was seen by uh, almost 4,000 people. I'm not sure why exactly when they all just appeared one day. I think someone actually took it, put it in their blog. Uh, but this was actually done by my dear, dear friend uh, Paco Plaza. He was inc sorry, he is incredible in 3Ds, and uh, he was uh, gracious enough to help me out with my idea. Um, he actually did the chess set to begin with. I said, hey, can you manipulate one? And he actually had no problem with it. Talented man. Next is the, uh, again, the far side. The far side, again, was a huge deal for me. Um, just because I loved it so much. Um, Carol took this photograph. Again, this is back in 2006. Um, where I actually walked by this entrance and it reminded me so much of the Far Side uh, comic of uh, School of Genesis. 
I put in a whole bunch of other things, but um, the bag is fake. The sock, <laughs> the, the sock um, uh, suspenders are uh, fake as well. And I altered on the sign and I altered the sign on the door as well. 